Alright, so uh, as you may know, but uh, some of you might not, my name is Winton, uh, Winton Anderson Handy. Some of you may know me for my constant dead face. Uh, uh, let's see. Me working around the school, sports, maybe even my hair. Uh, well, some probably don't even know or see or ever even heard about me. But, but even though I know, even though I know that this is graduation for me, uh, and I'm supposed to celebrate myself as well, also want to say that it's not just about me. It's about all of us. It's about eighth grade and twelfth grade, and I just want to give a good hand for it. Make sure that we thank God for this day, for this wonderful opportunity for us to be able to come to the school and graduate from here. Because if not, I know some of us would probably not be in a good place. Thank you guys so much. Um, over, the year, over the years I've been here, I've been to about six schools. Uh, then my mom remembered all of a sudden about this little school called Tri City Christian Academy, which was 10, 10 minutes down the road. And she was like, why haven't I thought about this all the time? And so I remember whenever we first came here, the first thing I thought to myself, I don't know if anybody else was thinking about this, but I was like, why does it smell like the doctor's office in here? It was like, it just smells so fresh. And I was not used to it, like, it smelling so good. Um, and then I went inside of the first class, uh, the class that I was going to into the uh, And the first thing I saw was, Everybody had ruby schools. I'm talking about like everybody. You guys don't remember that, but everybody had ruby schools. I didn't try to get you. Uh, but fast forward, um, we ended up following it. Well, my mom fell in love with school at first. I, I wasn't, I was like, I don't know about this. But fast forward, I ended up loving the school. Um, this is such a great opportunity for me to be able to come here. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better opportunity. I've had the chance to go to seven different countries. Um, not, I mean, not all of them were just going to that country in general, but like on the trips I've been to seven different countries. Uh, done gymnastics, basketball, handball choir, vocal choir, uh, gone in the silver pines. You guys are all of them. Um, let's see, and I've even gotten help from the school to achieve my Eagle Scout. Uh, some of you guys don't know that, but. I used to be a scout last year. Uh, that was that took a long time. Before, but, yeah. um, now let's not get it twisted. Uh, I do thank God for for again being able to come here, but also want to take this time to thank to thank my family uh, for all for all the support that you've given me over the years. Uh, but I would also like to especially thank. Uh, my grandparents who aren't here right now, uh, but I want to take time to thank them for all the support that they gave me. Uh, and also my mom, um, I know that you've been through a lot. Uh, you've been through a lot for me. Uh,
Was he getting things taken care of or not? I had a, long, a lot of long nights with my grandma talking about how she's going to be out so late. Uh, I'll be out late. I'll, be, I'll come back. It's not like I just be out. Um, and uh, I'm sorry. I lost my spot. I'd also like to thank the faculty and the staff. I'm so sorry, bro. I'd also like to thank the faculty and the staff for uh, being there for me, putting up with my shenanigans over the years, because uh, I know I can, be, I can definitely be a handful. Um, like I said, I do have a, you guys might know me from my dead face and stuff, but I'm definitely not a serious, a serious <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, I would also like to thank my friends and my class, everybody at the school uh, for being here with me and just being here in general. Um, thank you for, for all of that for the last five years. Uh, with all that being said, uh, congratulations to everybody who made it. Cousins, and um, before I start my speech, I just want to um, say how thankful I am to be here today. Um, for those of you who don't know, yesterday I got in a car accident. Um, yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just so thankful to be here today because that crash could have gone a lot worse than it did. And it's by the grace of God that I'm here today. TCA since I was in fourth grade. Um, it's been quite the journey that has now reached its end. Um, I can't imagine any other place having such a big impact on me as TCA has had um, on my life. 
all the memories and experiences that I've had here, I'll remember for the rest of my life. And there are a lot of people that I have to thank for those opportunities and experiences. First of all, I'd like to thank my parents, of course. They've had the biggest influence on my life. He's just starting it. Um, they've given me the best life they possibly could. And they've raised me into the person that I am today. Um, and I don't have any complaints about that. And I'll never be able to thank them enough for giving me the life that I have right now. Okay, um, next I'd like to thank my um, siblings. Um, um, they're probably more excited about me going off to college than I am. <laughs> uh, I know they're going to miss me and I'm going to miss them too. Um, thank you for all the memories and even the bad ones. And, times that we've had. Next, I'd like to thank my next door neighbors, who just so happen to need my grandparents. <laughs> I have the best grandparents in the world, if you didn't know. I'm so proud to be one of your grandchildren. You guys have a great example. Last family members I'd like to thank are my cousins. My cousins are really awesome. They're like my siblings, but without all the annoying things that come with having siblings. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you to Jeff and Lincoln for being the brothers I never had, but I always wanted. to my aunt and uncle for letting us spend so much time together and letting me come over literally every weekend. <laughs>
Hi everyone. My name is Wesley, Wesley John Martin. If you look on the back of the program, you'll see that my name is printed as John Wesley Martin. And that's not correct, it's Wesley John Martin. I am not the founder of the Methodist Church. I am the <laughs> A lot has happened since I came to the school halfway through my seventh grade year. I remember the old school building with its broken AC, <coughs> collapsing ceiling tiles in the gym. I remember the I remember the grand opening of the school building that we're in right now, the same day I started my high school in uh, my ninth grade year. I remember all the mission trips we did, the two serve tra training, the disaster response trips. Each year, I got to experience new things with my fellow students. Of course, there were occasional bumps along the way, but looking back, even the worst of times pale in comparison to all the fond memories I made in the school. My time here at TCA would not have been what it was without all the amazing people I was surrounded with. First, I want to thank my teachers for their caring instruction. They didn't just feed me information so that I could pass a test. They taught me how to learn and to help me grow academically. I would like to thank my friends for teaching me how to be social. And I want to thank my parents for raising me and guiding my decisions as I begin the next phase of my life. My sister's pretty cool too, I guess. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least, I would like to give my thanks to God. He sustained me for each year, and without Him, I wouldn't be the person I am today. It's 2019, and we're graduating high school. I'm excited to see what will happen as we go off to college. I want, I want to, I'm really curious as to see what next year will, next year will bring, bring, but like, I'm wearing glasses. I don't have 2020 vision. That was for my friends. They were telling me not to make a fun models up here. <laughs> my time here with DCA and all the people in it has impacted my life for the better and I will carry the memories I made here with me for the rest of my life. Thank you. Shaped and molded me into the man that I am today. 
Thank you. Last but not least, I want to give all the glory to God for giving me a life that I can live for Him. 